Hello guys, what's up? My name is Sushual Tank and I'm here showing you how to do a uh, survival games plugin for your bucket 1.6.2 or 1.6.4. And uh, give me a second. Uh, Skype. Okay, okay, okay. Do not check your Skype. Okay. So basically, what you need to do is you need to have a lobby. This is my lobby, and you make sure you have signs that. Um, at least more than three signs that are blank. Um, blank, blank, blank. And um, it it does work. You know, everything works. Uh, yeah. And uh, give me a second. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is how to do it. Um, thank you for the 100 subscribers. And uh, so, what you need. Kind of plugins you need to be at least opt of course um you need world edit and survival games and if you want you can have essentials that's just an extra plugin it will help you out in the long run and so here we go so once you have your little survival games thing maybe for your for your you know just your friends and stuff whitelisted stuff uh this is how to do it first what you need to do is Uh, let's go. Oh my, no. No. Bad. Alright, what you need to do. Oh my, what is up? I should probably mess with these settings. Okay. Anyways, once you have your lobby, your built in lobby with signs and stuff, you're gonna build an arena like so. So, this is my arena. It's got a glass dome. And I'll show you how to make the glass dome and what is required in your um in your uh what is it called arena so just give me a second one there we go okay now don't do what i did because i was just doing it. okay so what you need to do is um what i've done is i made a glass dome over the areas that i wanted and then i marked the center point so that I know that um, I put spawn points around it, and these are eight blocks apart. So yep, uh, this is the ninth block, and this is the eighth. So eight, seven, six, five, four, etc. So that being, we need to go. Um, once that happens, you're gonna. Build your arena, make sure you have chests and hidden places, and then once you have that done, you're gonna go to your lobby, or go back to your lobby, oops, do I not have a lobby anymore? Oh wait, yeah, okay, so go back to your lobby, and when you're at your lobby, this is the first thing you want to do, is you're gonna do SG, set lobby, and I think set lobby spawn. And yep, and then when people do slash sg join, they'll come to the little lobby area for your survival games. And um, mm -hmm. so then you're gonna go back to your arena. So my arena's over here, and I'll show you how to make the glass dome and how to make the the dome into a arena. Um, So my friend kind of joins, and he's up. so, uh, so once you make your arena, um, first, basically what I wanted to say is before you put any spawns in and chests, you're gonna find a good place, and you know just stand there and do slash h slash last h spear, and then the material and the number. So I already have mine so I won't do it do it so I'll do a demonstration. So if I were up in the air and I did the the command H fear do not make sure you have that H or if you if you do not have that H it will fill in the air into having the full glass. So glass five and that'll make a dome area and if you do not like uh, the size of it you can do slash undo and I'll undo whatever command you did for World Edit. And um 
this size, I think 20 or 25, so it's a good for five or six people. I put eight because just the square area, so yeah. Um, once you have uh, your whole arena set with chests and everything, make sure the spawns are evenly, or if you don't want to put the spawns like I did, you can change them up and put them spread it out. It could be in the air or anything. Um, the next thing you want is a wand, so slash slash wand, and then you'll get this wooden axe. So once you get this wooden axe, you're going to go outside of your arena, and you're going to find like uh, the corner. So from whatever this side is, and that side, you're going to come back, so, oh my, oh my. So once you have that, I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna make my render distance normal, so you can you guys can see. So you can see the edge of this glass dome is right there. You kind of want to go further more of it, and you can see the glass dome here. So basically, I don't really need need to do anything. So once you once you find your edges on the corner piece, you're gonna dig down. It depends how deep your arena is. So if your arena is like has underground tunnels go deep but you don't need to go that deep if you have not um have not made any tunnels so once you get like a point that you want to stop uh you're gonna uh you're gonna left click yeah left click and then it should say like first position first position set to coordinates and it needs to be with the wooden axe or the wand and then what you're gonna do you're gonna go across the dome from where you were and you're gonna do the same thing upset Except you're gonna go in the sky. So I'm gonna let me show you a cool tricks. So once you find your little corner between that and that, you're gonna do slash up, probably 20, maybe 10, depends on how high you are. And then you're gonna right click. And it should say second position set to in the coordinates. And then you're gonna do SG create arena with no spaces. So enter that, I should say arena ID 1 successfully added, and then, oh yeah, and um, when you're, when you're opt, you cannot um, edit the arena, so you need to make your final touches or polishing your arena, so before you create the arena, alright, so once you've made that, this is the second thing you need to do, is you need to make spawns, so in order to make spawns, you can either do what I'm doing right now, which is grabbing some random item or block, and and if you have essentials, the plug-in essentials, which we which will be in the link's description, and, ugh, which we in this, <laughs> the link will be in the description below. There we go. Uh, for essentials, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but uh, you should say Yap World Edit Survival Games Essentials, and essentials will help you. In the long run, like I said, it's, it is not required, but it's very useful. And if you do have essentials, follow through. If you don't, um, you can skip it. And probably should be an annotation saying you should skip it. So once you do this, is grab an item, and you have to have the item in your hand. Do slash pt sg spawn. Oops, no sg set spawn next, just like what I have. And then you enter, and every time you hit the block in the air, it will, it will spot, it will set a spawn for the arena, and you do that for all of the spawns, you just step on the spawn, or the area you want to spawn in, so that's two, three, three, alright, so, you just do this, and if you, um, if you do not have essentials, you're gonna go up to, uh, you don't have to have anything in your hand, you can do you have to do s slash sg set spawn next so then they'll set the arena and then you have to type that in for each spawn that's why i recommend these essentials because all you have to do is just click like that and um yep i'm coming to my final and here's the last spawn Boom, right there. and <clears throat> once you have that set you're gonna go to your lobby which you created sg join and then you come back here, and you should, um, you should, oops. Okay, so to get rid of the little command on your block, so you don't add more, um, add more uh, commands, or spawns, I mean, you're gonna do slash pt on the same item. 
and as you can tell you see me clicking and you don't see it any commands or response okay weird. okay anyways um once you have once you're in your lobby and you have the sign set up you're gonna get the wand select one area or one piece of sign make sure you have more than three actually i'm gonna go like this first position which is left click and then second position which is right click and i want to select these signs only these signs only or the the parts you want to see make sure they're in rows like this and nothing on it so once you have that i'm going to do sg set lobby wall and then the arena id which is number one because you created that and then it should um pop up is it gonna set lobby Oh, nope, nope, I did it wrong. Sorry, guys. It is SG. Add wall. And then the arena ID. There you go. I'll just say click to join arena one and arena one waiting. Zero. Zero players are. Zero players are in. Zero players are. Nope. <laughs> so hard. Okay, zero players have died and eight players can join. So. Come here. Join the game. Alright, I'm gonna tell my friend to join the game. Um, <clears throat> can, can he? Okay. He's Pokemon now. Hey. Pokemon trainer now. Okay, so he's gonna quick demonstrate. He's actually gonna call me. And, and then we're gonna play some survival games. One of them. playing survival games and I need you and you I, I mean I mean you have been chosen to play some survival games you are the lucky tribute okay let's join the game let's join <laughs> okay. all right so as you can see when he joins the game it should say his name Johnny Panda and it should say one out of eight players are uh, uh, in and when you join the game oh wow you're in the game you should spawn in to where you selected your spawns to be and as you can tell I cannot move and I cannot get the chest neither can he <laughs> and yep so here we go so if you're um if you are admin you can do SG start and then if you um, are a player you can do SG vote which will vote hey do slash SG space vote and then once you have the votes in, the game will start automatically, and that's how you get a survival game started. So it should start in 20 seconds, and there goes the 10 minute second mark. Wow. Okay. 10 minute. <laughs> all right, here we go. Three, two, one, and um, all the items in the chest are automatically put in, so you don't have to put it in. So yeah, very useful. Oop, gold sword. GG. Oop, iron sword. GG. Oop, cook food. GG. I'm out. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> no boots. Oh, watch him sneak up. Oh, he's gonna sneak up. That is gonna sneak up. Oh, I'm done for. I'm done for. I'm done for. I'm done for. Oh! Oh! No, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Wait. I got no! all the items. No, so it's, okay. it's OP. Yeah, it's pretty OP. And uh, let's play one more. Boom. Okay. And I'm just gonna start it. No voting because I haven't showed you guys the vote thing. I see you breaking that block. No, I'm not breaking it. It's K. Okay. Right. Yeah. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my, it's in my hand too. Oh my. Oh. Yes. Oh. No. Ow! Wait, what? Ow! Yes. Yes. You should say, you should be saying no. Oh my god. Please don't kill me. Best tactic and name. 
beat him up in the first five seconds. No, wait, no! <laughs> yep. Yep, Love I got OP you. items once I again. had, I had, uh, what is it called? I had golden apples, come on. Same right, here. One, more. one last one. Yeah, I thought that was the last one, but sure. Okay, this one will be the last one for sure. Just okay. so you know, it, anybody who takes that spot pretty much has an advantage. Which spot? Your spot. My spot? Are you sure? You're, you're closer. No, I'm pretty sure it's even that it was eight blocks away. I yes. seem so far away though. What's up, bro? Oh! Don't turn around. Please don't turn oh. around. Oh! Oh! I got an OP God. build once again. <laughs> this is, you have like iron pants. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Why wouldn't I walk around with iron pants? You unfair. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys um, enjoyed the video and hope it works for you guys. Uh, Enjoy playing survival games with your friends or opening it up for public servers. So, Jonathan, wise words or last any last words? Gotta catch them all. Hey! Crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, you should protect spawn. Probably uh, should. 